Welcome to the pre-match show. You're watching FC Goa TV on Prudent. I'm Neeraj Prabhu. FC Goa will play their first home game of the new year on uh, Thursday evening against uh, Chamshedpur FC. FC Goa, who have had a bit of a struggle in their last uh, three games, uh, picking up just uh, one point, are looking uh, to get back to winning ways and play their fluid best and score a bucket full of goals as they used to do before those uh, three games uh, came uh, in like a bit of a dampener across the festive period. Nevertheless, they return uh, to uh, the Nehru Stadium here at Fatorda, the fortress that uh, uh, th this place becomes on the match day. And uh, the guards want to uh, get back uh, that victory and three points that will take them back in that uh, top four position. Uh, we are all set for the pre-match uh, press conference. Uh, first to address will be the Jamshedpur FC coach, uh, Steve Koppel. Yeah. Hello, coach. Uh, first and foremost, uh, a happy new year to you and also your team, Jamshed Thank FC. you very much. Thank you. Welcome. Well. Everybody. Yeah. Uh, my question to you is, uh, with a side known for considering the least number of goals thus far in the tournament, playing against an opposition known for its attacking flair, the most attacking team in competition, how do you look up to the match tomorrow? Well, on that basis, it sounds like it's going to be a good contest. Uh, Know, test of maybe our defence against what I would say so far in the first what, eight, nine games of this season has been the most uh, fluid attacking unit. You know, they score goals freely as they've shown against a number of sides, but um, you know, it's our challenge to try and uh, stifle that threat and obviously do our best to hurt them as well. Um, we certainly haven't come here just to defend and try and keep the opposition out. We want to play a full part in this game and that obviously means not only doing our jobs defensively but also um, trying to uh, expose any weaknesses they might have at the back. So uh, I hope it's a good game for everyone who comes to watch. Good afternoon. I'm Neeraj from uh, Prudent uh, Cable TV channel in Goa. Uh, in the last match, uh, you were happy with uh, your team's attacking display, but uh, there were defensive lapses. So is the strategy now shifting towards uh, uh, more incisive attacking? Um, well, we'd like to. You know, it's, it's our intention not to try and get a nil-nil or uh, squeak a game one-nil. We'd like to obviously be part of more expansive football uh, going forward. Uh, and that's coming back enabled us to play an extra forward up front, which makes a difference. An extra international player has a forward up front, which does make a difference uh, just in terms of presence. Um, so that's, that's been a bonus. Um, Anas has obviously been out for quite a while and he had, um, hadn't trained really much. You know, our pitch at home is fairly demanding in itself because it's, it's so heavy. So it was a big uh, question as to whether he should play. And I think he obviously did play, he came through the 90 minutes, but he hasn't really had a great deal of time, uh, practice and training uh, with the rest of the back four. And I think that was a little bit apparent. Uh, there was a little bit of miscommunication on occasion. So uh, we would hope that would be tidied up. Uh, uh, you are one of the most defensively solid teams uh, and Mexico is one of the most uh, attacking team uh, as far as the stats show. Yeah. But there is only one point difference between you and Mexico. Yeah. So what does that tell you about the league uh, that maybe defence could also be a good strategy? Um, they got more than one point difference, haven't they? The three, three points. Three points. Three points, three points, three points, so. three points which is one game basically. If you, need, um, if you, you, know, you, come you know, there, there is no way that we set up at the start of the season and said, oh, let's defend, because that's the way to be successful. There is no way we said that. Uh, you know, just a variety of circumstances have, have just meant that. Again, we're a new team. I know you look at the picture of the ISL and you think all the teams come together and they are um, on an even uh, starting position, but it's not, because as a new team, logistically just traveling 
you know, there hasn't been the experience. We have our geographical challenge in itself, the position the, the club is in the country, the extra travelling we have to do. You know, there are a lot of things that go towards uh, the makeup of a, a season. And if the, all the other teams have had three, four years' experience, that is an advantage. I'm not making that as an excuse. We would like to be as attack-minded as we can. Uh, as I said, we had injury with Anas. Anas was obviously chosen our first pick in the draft to play. And he's had a few issues, so um, that just changed the balance of the side. And I would say that we don't work any harder defensively than any other team. We establish our disciplines at the beginning of the season, uh, but there is certainly no intention of ours to you know, crawl through the season one point at a time by just trying to win football games. But there are many ways to win football games. I, think, I was actually looking the other day, I think Kerala in year one scored nine goals from 14 games and they got to the final of the competition. So, you know, football is not always just about uh, attack, 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 and score as many goals as you can. For a coach, it's probably the most pleasing thing to get a clean sheet. You know, if you come out of a game with a clean sheet, you think, well, you know, that that, that is something to be uh, pleased with. Um, you know, I'd love to win every game, as, as Gore have been doing, you know, 5-2, 4-3, fabulous. It's been great to watch. And, you know, I've appreciated watching them. Uh, you know, it's my job tomorrow's game to try and stifle them and also for us to try and add that. Yes. Hi coach, this is Karadin from ISL Social Media. So most teams have played almost 8 to 9 games as of now. Uh, how do you feel the league has progressed up to this point? Uh, well I, I would say that probably the shape of the positions of most of the teams <coughs> probably being a fair reflection of the way the sides have played. But, you know, you look at, again at the defeats, there's not one dominant team. There are a number of teams who are very, very strong. Uh, but the lead that they have at the moment is not substantial and they're out of sight. So I think almost every team has still got realistically a chance. You win three, four games. Uh, and you, you are right up there. So I think it's still so much to play for. Excuse me. At the moment, from the first game of the season, I said that scheduling would be significant. We're probably coming into our toughest spell in terms of scheduling. I think we've got six games in the next three weeks. You know, again, given the, the extra travelling that we have to do. I think it's fair to say at the end of January I'll probably know where we sit in the, uh, the position of, of going forward. So a difficult time starting with playing one of the, the top sides, but that's what we're here for. We want to play the best. We want to try and prove ourselves against the best and, and pick up points against the best. Coach, uh, <coughs> Neta will be missing the match tomorrow because of four yellow cards. Uh, do you have to change your plans immediately or you just uh, put a like for like replacement for him? Uh, we, we don't really have a like for like for Neta. You know, he's you know, that holding midfield player, but um, you know, we certainly have options. So, you know, I've explored a few of those. Um, you know, I know what I'm going to do, but I'm obviously not going to tell you just yet. You'll see it tomorrow. We, it's a, it's a big loss as far as we're concerned because he's, a, he's been a stable part of the team. Sir, is it tough to play against FC Goa? And is there any because sling in FC Goa? Is there any? Is it tough to play against Yeah, yeah. And, and is there any because sling in FC Goa? Yes. Wow. It's tough to play against them because, as we've discussed, they are so fluent going forward. Obviously, the top scorer in the competition, um, they have invention in the side. With Lanzarote, obviously, is, he loads the bullets for Coral to fire, it seems, at the moment. Um, some good, solid, creative midfield players as well. Pace.
space on the outside. You know, that they are very attractive in possession going forward. Um, you know, by, if you turn that around, I think they've leaked a few goals that they would be upset about, but you know, they have more of a sort of laissez-faire attitude to playing football. It's, you know, we'll have an attack, you can have an attack. Um, so, uh, you know, it, they'll give you opportunities, I think, if you're committed to having a go at them as well. So, that's what we have to try and uh, instigate tomorrow. So what is the weakest link in the team? Oh, the weakest link? Oh. Yes, sir. Well, first and foremost, I think that would be unfair for me to answer. I, I can't even think of one at the moment. You know, I, I look at them and I think they're a good side. But they've lost games. You know, every team in this division has lost games. There hasn't been a dominant force who have won, well, every game or if they have lost, just lost by a very, very tight margin. You know, they've won three and lost, uh, they've won five and lost three. So that tells you an awful lot about the way they play. We take the last question. Of course, this is Martin. Uh, something that not everybody seems to be agreeing upon is the refereeing decisions. You know, people are saying that, you know, coaches have been uh, fined. Uh, do you think that is something teams need to prepare? Uh, Especially because you can't, you can't prepare for uh, questionable refereeing decisions. You just have to accept it. You know, as a boy, when I was brought up, my school teacher always used to say to me that the referee is right even when he's wrong. And I think there have been a number of occasions this year when we have seen that the referee has been wrong. But you know, football is such that you have to respect that any mistakes you hope are just genuine mistakes and uh, referees now are being judged the same as players. If they're not to standard, they should be removed and replaced. Steve Coppel, uh, the former England and uh, Manchester United winger, uh, is really uh, praising FC Goa for their fluid attacking and uh, he believes that uh, FC Goa are one of the best uh, uh, attacking side uh, in the ISL4 and the match on Thursday will be a test for uh, his team and he wants his team to prove that they are also one of the best by uh, really uh, picking up some points uh, here at Fadora. So it will be a curious matchup where uh, the team that has considered the least amount of goals in the ISL take on the free scoring uh, FC Goa who are leading uh, the uh, goal scored list so far in the ISL. Uh, we have uh, FC Goa coach uh, Sergio Lobera ready to address the media in the press conference room. Let's go in there. Uh, good evening coach. Uh, greetings for the new year. Uh, my question to you is uh, in the last game you had effected uh, four substitutions which is pretty much unlike you. You tend to uh, impose fate in your playing level. What prompted uh, uh, that many changes, particularly the win of the match? Four, you, four uh, changes uh, in the first level. Yeah, four After changes in the first level. Level. Particularly I do betting. Because we have to play dos partidos en cuatro días en unas circunstancias el primer partido realmente especiales y consideré oportuno que, que lo más importante era la, la salud de mis jugadores por encima de un resultado aunque evidentemente hice el equipo que consideraba eh, que podíamos conseguir el, los tres puntos que era lo que buscábamos pero bueno, las circunstancias eran especiales vuelvo a repetir porque Disputamos dos partidos en cuatro días y además el primer partido en unas circunstancias realmente adversas. Um, the obvious reason being that you know we play two matches in four days. Uh, obviously in the first match where we played, we play I think in some certain, um, some uncertain and adverse circumstances. Uh, it's certainly very special to what we're normally used to play in. And in the second game, obviously we had to rest some players because I put my players' health above uh, the result ultimately. Um, so therefore that's why we wanted to do that. Uh, the aim was always to look for three points in both games and we thought that was the best option with the uh, choices that we went with. But again, you know, the first match was in special circumstances. So based on how that match went, we had to obviously maintain this for the next time. Uh, just to 
just to add on that the uh, Narayan Das has a legal that prompted uh, his omission from the plane level, first level. No. It was a technical decision for him to uh, be on the bench rather than play. Coach, I uh, FC Goa got uh, 12 points for the first five matches, uh, but got only one point for the for the next three. Uh, uh, what has actually gone wrong for FC Goa in the last three matches? Uh? Yeah. Yo creo que, que son pequeños detalles los que han dado marcando la diferencia en un partido. Creo que, que en el partido de Túnez, si nos ponemos por delante en el marcador, estoy convencido que el resultado hubiera sido otro. Y, y todo el mundo vio que, que si las cosas hubieran sido como tenían que ser, nos podíamos poner por delante en el marcador. Eh, creo que en el partido de. El partido con los Romos contra Colcata también tuvimos una opción muy clara, una acción de penalti, de poder otra vez ponernos por delante en el, en el marcador y tampoco fue. Y en el último partido la verdad que no, no fue nuestro mejor partido, pero sí es verdad que tuvimos ocasiones para llevarnos un resultado mejor. ¿no? Creo que lo, lo que tenemos que hacer es aprender de los errores, darnos cuenta que tenemos que estar al 100%, que si no, no vamos a sacar los partidos adelante. Y lo importante es que mañana eh, tenemos un partido menos que los equipos que están arriba y que ganando estamos en una posición muy buena para nosotros, por lo tanto hay que intentar ganar mañana. Um, yeah, it is true that um, you know we haven't had the best results in the last three years, but there are certain reasons why. You know, um, in this league, I see it as a league where the small difference, uh, small details make all the difference. In the first game against Pune, I'm convinced that if we had taken the lead, the result would have been completely different. In a game where the game was at nil you know, there's an opportunity where had we taken the lead, um, maybe by a penalty, we could have um, gone ahead. In the second game against Calcutta as well, you know, there's an opportunity for a penalty that wasn't given. Uh, again, if we put ourselves in the lead, I'm not so sure we would have only got one point from that game. And in the last game, yes, I do admit that we weren't at our best. But again, there also we had a lot of opportunities where had we taken them, the result would have been obviously different. Uh, but what we need to do is learn from our mistakes from each of these games. And you know, understand that we need to be 100% in every one of our games that um, are coming forward. And tomorrow we play against a team where if you win, we get the opportunity to sort of, you know, go back up there again and be with the teams that are right at the top. Uh, you've uh, drafted uh, Mizoram uh, winger Lal Mohan Khanna. Kima in uh, the first team setup. So is he available for tomorrow's game? No, mañana estará convocado. No estará en la convocatoria. He's not in the match day squad for tomorrow. And, uh, any uh, fitness issue with Adrian Kolunga, who was not even on the bench uh, in the last two games? No está convocado tampoco para el partido de mañana. Uh, he's also not called for the next game. Coach, are you, are you actually looking at reinforcements, uh, particularly when the transfer window opens on the January 15th? Uh? Yo creo que un entrenador que está hablando de jugadores que le gustaría tener, le falta un poco respeto a los jugadores que ahora mismo tiene. Yo estoy contento con el equipo que tengo, creo que con el equipo que tengo, tengo la obligación de poder conseguir muy buenos resultados y a partir de ahí, todo lo que sea poder mejorar al equipo es un trabajo que tiene que ir en paralelo a, a lo que es el mío de entrenador de entrenar eh, y todo lo que se pueda mejorar, se mejorará. Pero vuelvo a repetir, estoy contento con los jugadores que tengo y hablar de los que me gustaría tener sería faltar el respeto a los jugadores que ahora mismo tengo. Uh, I think a coach who talks about the players that he would like to have uh, is a lack of respect to the players that he already has within his team. Uh, as of now, I'm very happy with the players that I have at my disposal. I'm confident that with these players we can perform to the best of our, uh, our, ability, uh, our abilities and we can get the desired results. Um, when the window opens, you know, again, there's obviously room for improvement in every team, but that is not something that uh, I'm not going to be talking about. Again, I'm going to repeat, uh, I'm happy with the team that I have as of now. And, uh, I won't be speaking because it's a lack of respect to my players. Do we have any more questions? Coach, you know, uh, when FCGO started uh, the ISL, uh, nobody had a clue about how FCGO would play and how FCGO would actually approach the match. Uh, that is one particular reason why FCGO could actually score a lot of goals as well. Uh, do you believe now teams are actually starting to find out the way, the way uh, FCGO are playing from Sydney? Uh, you need to reinvent. Is there, a, is there a need to reinvent or relook re at the way FCGO are playing or will it always be like this? Uh?
Yo sinceramente no he visto a ningún equipo, he visto todos los partidos de la Liga y no he visto a ningún equipo que cuando se enfrente a nosotros juegue a diferente a como ha jugado los otros partidos anteriores. Eh, a partir de ahí, evidentemente, tenemos que estar preparados para, para lo que nos podamos encontrar, por ejemplo. ¿Quieres que vaya un poco? Sí, sí, claro. Bueno. Sí. Uh... The first thing uh, is that you know I've seen every game in the, uh, in the league so far, and I don't think, sincerely, from my point of view, I've never seen a team that has been playing uh, different to when they have played against us so far. Pune no jugó contra nosotros diferente a como juega normalmente. Kolkata no jugó contra nosotros diferente a como juega normalmente. Northeast no jugó con nosotros diferente a como juega normalmente. Pune, Northeast, all these teams they play different to what they normally play against us. Pero es verdad, por ejemplo, mañana nos enfrentamos a un equipo que ha conseguido cinco veces mantener la portería cero, un equipo defensivamente muy fuerte, y nosotros tenemos que estar preparados para contrarrestar ese tipo de planteamientos. De los siete siguientes partidos, tenemos cinco en casa, y ahí es donde realmente vamos a demostrar si somos un equipo para jugar la final o, o somos un equipo que, que necesitaría mejorar más. Yo creo que tengo mucha confianza en este equipo, tengo mucha confianza en este estadio y en nuestra afición y creo que la clave viene de que de los siete siguientes partidos, cinco son en casa. Nosotros tenemos ilusión, presión uh, ninguna. Yo creo que somos un equipo que tenemos muchas ganas de conseguir éxitos. Venimos de una temporada muy difícil, que es la temporada anterior, donde el equipo quedó último. Creo que hemos recuperado la ilusión de mucha gente eh, con el fútbol y los resultados que hemos conseguido en el inicio de esta temporada. Para mí como entrenador tenemos que, que conseguir estar entre los cuatro primeros. Pero siempre desde la ilusión, nunca desde la presión. But always from a point of view of excitement and not that of pressure. Creo que otros equipos tienen más presión que nosotros por estar entre los cuatro primeros. I think there's other teams who have more pressure than us to be in the top four. Y nosotros vuelvo a repetir, si llegamos a conseguir estar entre los cuatro primeros será por ilusión y no por presión. And I'm going to repeat, if we make it to the top four, it will be out of pure excitement within the team rather than pressure. FC Goa coach uh, Sergio Lobera is. Uh... Focusing on the match tomorrow, wherein he says uh, there's a lot of excitement uh, in the squad to come out there and bounce back to victory, rather than uh, feeling the pressure. As a, a journalist asked the Spanish tactician whether there is pressure to win the game, but uh, the coach uh, uh, asserted that it's not the pressure; it's only the excitement that they want to come out and blow the uh, memories of the last three games overall, which has proved. Uh, like a struggle wherein the team has, uh, team has picked just one point and scored only two goals. We are all set for this uh, big game uh, that's coming your way on Thursday night. And uh, there are some lucky winners amongst you who, who are going to turn up at this uh, stadium here. Prudent Media's uh, FC Goa quiz uh, was the opportunity for you all to win uh, tickets for the games. And uh, the lucky winners of this contest are... Sanao International presents Simply Football. Grab a chance to support your favorite team in fourth edition of Indian Super League. Answer this simple question and five lucky winners will win couple passes. What is the name of FC Goa membership program? Option A, Goa Nation. Option B, God Nation. Option C, God Nation. And the winners are Rupesh Homkandi from Bicholim, Kushal Pagi from Kankon, Zinat Khan from Bardez, Pritesh Salgaukar from Saklim, Daryl from Kepem. 
congratulations to all of you and uh, hope uh, you'll come out here and uh, cheer the Gars on to uh, win their first uh, ISL4 match of the new year 2018. So that's all the time we have uh, on this show. Keep watching uh, Prudent and keep following us on uh, the Facebook page as well as log on to uh, www.prudentmedia.in to uh, keep pace with the continuous coverage of uh, FC Goa news uh, in the current ISL 4. So that's all from me now. Goodbye.